So I watched Aladdin yesterday and one thing struck me while watching the movie. This movie is quite a lot like the previous movie from Will Smith, Hitch. I'm sure if you guys remember that movie, it was about a professional dating consultant who makes a living teaching men how to woo women. And in Aladdin, Will Smith is teaching Aladdin how to woo the Princess Jasmine as well, minus all the magic of course. So there was one connection that I made to Hitch the movie as I was watching the movie, so that's quite interesting. Now before we get to the review, let's address the big elephant in the room, and that is obviously Will Smith in blue. I think when we first saw the uh, teaser and also the picture of Will Smith in blue, I was really horrified and everyone around me was like, what the hell were they thinking, you know? And he does look like a big giant smurf and seriously, yes, it is horrifying to see Will Smith in all blue. The good news is he's not, you know, all blue in his original blue uh, genie color throughout the entire movie because he does transform to human form uh, throughout the movie as well. But the bad news is, yes, he still had to revert back to the blue genie form which you will still see throughout the end of the movie anyways. So, if you think you cannot go past the blue Will Smith, you probably want to skip this movie, okay? Now, who is this movie really for? I mean, Aladdin's been, what, out for more than 23 years by now? And in a theatre, when I went to it, the attendance were purely, mainly female. 80% in fact. And if you've seen the original cartoon, you will know that nothing is new in this Aladdin live-action adaptation. Uh, the only new things that they put in, you know, uh, courtesy of the director, which is Mr. Guy Ritchie, is the comic relief from Nassim Pedrat from the Saturday Night Live fame and also from Bill Smith. So those are some of the, quite a lot of comic uh, relief and jokes that they put in into the movies to make sure that the adults that's watching this movie won't get bored because it's something that you already know how it's going to end anyways. Now in terms of casting, I think Disney really nailed it with the awesome cast. Um, I love everyone being portrayed here including Will Smith, you know, uh, Nassim Pedrat. But one guy that really stood out was actually the one, the protagonist, oh, sorry, the antagonist who played Jafar. And that is actually Mazwan Kenzari. He's definitely played the role of Jafar very, very well. Very believable as the evil wizard. Only thing is, he doesn't actually have a musical number, uh, just like the original animation, but everybody else from Princess Jasmine to Aladdin, to even to Will Smith, everyone has a musical number except Jafar. So that's quite unfortunate. I was kind of hoping, you know, at least Jafar would have an uh, interesting musical number that is a bit uh, conniving and also evil, but they, they actually didn't put that in, okay? And CGI, well, of course, this movie have to rely a lot on CGI because Will Smith did a lot of movies just like the original animation and surprisingly the CGI looks really really good I think it's one of the better ones that we've seen this year and the one that really stood out to me was actually Abu well Abu the monkey don't actually speak in this movie just like the animation but the facial expression of Abu is really fun to watch so if you are watching the movie do look out for Abu I think you really like watching Abu uh, in this movie so all in all, I think if you're like me, someone who have seen the original Aladdin many many years ago, you probably won't be lining up to buy the tickets to see this movie as you already know how this movie is going to end and there's really nothing new uh, that's been put in, into this movie because I think Disney is really playing it safe despite having Guy Ritchie as a director. Um, and if you really don't know whether you can stand Will Smith as the big blue giant smurf <laughs> in this movie, you probably won't be buying a ticket to this movie. But this movie is really for the ladies. I think the ladies would enjoy this movie a lot because as I mentioned earlier, this movie is quite a lot like Hitch. Genie trying to help Aladdin to woo Princess Jasmine. A lot of, you know, uh, mature jokes that I think the ladies would really, really like. It's all tied to the female gender. And also, more importantly is the big song. I think everybody was waiting for the song to come in the second half of the movie, which is the whole new world. I think when the movie came out, I think everybody was smiling in the tears. I could see the ladies, you know, from my left and my right, everyone was smiling when the song came on. So all in all, this movie, I think Will Smith had a very big shoe to fill. No one could really feel you know, the original role that was played by the late Robin Williams. I think Robin Williams really created a character to life, especially that being an animation. And what more for Will Smith had to do this as a live action movie. But I still think Will Smith did great. You know, it's really difficult itself 
to pull this movie together as the lead character, especially in, in all blue. And for me, I think if you have a you know a wife or a girlfriend, this is probably the movie that they want you to bring them to watch this year. So do them a favor and bring them to this movie. Uh, in a score of one out of ten, I'll give this a seven. I will still say that it's a very well put movie. CGI was great, uh, you know, the songs, they all say the same songs from the animation as we have known and loved from Disney years back. Now, if you're watching this movie and if you're wondering if there's going to be a post credit ending scene, the answer is no. So don't wait. Once the movie ends, it ends. That's it, right? There's one final musical number when the credits are rolling, but that's pretty much it. So that's our review for Aladdin. If you love what we're putting out, please do subscribe to our channel. We do put out a lot of movie reviews once in a while. So thanks for watching and please leave a comment down below if you've already watched this movie and let us know what you think about the blue Will Smith, Papa Smurf and also what you think about our choice of um, Mr. Maswan Kenzari as Jafar, the evil user. I really like him in this movie. And also Princess Jasmine, Naomi Scott, she's awesome as well. So thanks for watching. 